Do you believe everything you read online, like being able to propagate or cut rice in a potato or growing a fuller plant by cutting it down? I am Emily from the Foliage Farm and today we are debunking some popular plant myths. Low light plants can survive without light. That is totally wrong. No light and low light is not the same thing. So all plants need some sort of light to photosynthesize. That doesn't mean you can't keep a plant in a room without a window, however. You can just switch out your regular bulb with a plant bulb uh, or you can get two low light plants and rotate them. That way you can keep low light plants in a room without windows. You can't keep plants in a low light apartment. Totally wrong. However, you have to do a little bit of extra work. Like I mentioned, just switch out those regular bulbs with plant bulbs and place all the plants in the closest window to give them enough light. Also, up for plants that don't need a lot of sun, like cacti and lithops. Go for plants like golden pothos, cc and hoya. If you get mealybugs, you can just throw the plant out. Mealybugs are notorious bad guys, and yes, they are very, very hard to get rid of. If you have a case like this one, it's better to just get rid of the plant. Because if you first have mealybugs, they spread like glitter. It's so hard to get rid of. However, if you have a smaller case with just one plant, a couple of mealybugs, just get a cotton swab with alcohol, remove them, spray with neem oil, and check that plant for the next three weeks and keep on spraying that neem oil for every other day for those three weeks and check that plant regularly. Do not introduce that plant back in your collection before you are 100% sure that you're rid of the mealybugs. You have to use fertilizer for lush plants. Fertilizer is a great additive for your plants to help them grow stronger and more beautiful However, if you do not use it right, it's better to skip it because using too much can actually kill your plants. So this is totally fake. You can use a pebble tray to increase humidity. I am so sorry to the pebble tray people right now, but you actually can't. Uh, if you actually measure the humidity around a pebble tray, you will see that it's not a big change. Same with spritzing your leaves, it's very, very temporarily. So the only way to permanently increase humidity in an area is to use a humidifier. If you do not want to invest in a humidifier, go get storage boxes and put your more sensitive plants into those, spray the walls and you have your own little greenhouse at home, very cheap. Cutting plants makes them fuller. This is 100% true in most cases. If you have a plant that's getting leggy, you can propagate those to get a fuller plant and the plant will focus the growth where you cut instead of at the tips. So uh, that's a great way to get a fuller plant. Also, if you have a pothos or a philodendron or a monstera, you can actually propagate those cuttings and get more plants. So uh, you have a win-win there. You can use cat litter instead of perlite. You can, in my experience, it gets a lot heavier than perlite. So perlite is preferred if you want lighter soil and more air for your plants. But if you don't have perlite, we have a huge perlite crisis in Norway right now. It's very hard to get. So if you can't get it anywhere and you need it in your soil, you can use no clump cat litter. It will help the soil, but just be aware, it's a lot heavier than perlite. You can propagate a cut rose in a potato. We just couldn't skip this one because it seems to be everywhere. First off, you can't propagate a cut rose. However, don't be disappointed if it doesn't work out because roses can be very, very finicky. When it comes to the potato, however, just skip it. What will happen is that the potato will probably rot. That can lead to your plant dying and rotting as well. So just stick to propagating in water or in soil. That was the plant myths we had for today. What do you think? What plant myths should we debunk next? Sound off in the comments below.